Google is back at CES in a big way for 2018, and it's teamed up with Lenovo to produce a product so interesting that I'm crossing the line into home tech to cover it. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is a first look at the Lenovo Smart Display with Google Assistant. My first thought when I saw the Smart Display was, hey look, it's an Amazon Echo Show, except Googleified. In keeping with the rest of the home line, the Smart Display is softer and more approachable. It comes in two sizes, the 8-inch model backed by a soft touch gray, and the 10-inch available in a bamboo finish that instantly won me over. These are very early samples, but you'll be able to use the final version in landscape or portrait mode, with the oversized kickstand keeping it stable either way. The organic sweep of that stand isn't just for looks. The internal volume is used as a resonance chamber for the 10-watt speaker. Lenovo says the acoustic performance should be comparable to the current Google Home, and based on what I heard at the demo, that sounds right. As for the visual side, the displays are LCD, with the higher res panel going to the bigger device, and to my eyes, each seems bright enough to overcome any lighting condition your kitchen or living room can throw at it. So, what can you do with it? Well, anything Google Assistant can do on the existing Google Home, plus all the extra stuff that a screen makes possible. In its standby mode, it'll act as a digital frame, shuffling pictures from Google Photos. While this is a touch screen, the idea is you still use your voice for the majority of your interactions. Ask it for the weather forecast or for traffic details for the ride to work, and in addition to the voice report, you'll get info on the screen as well. In our demo session, Google took the opportunity to showcase its house brands. If you're using a Nest camera as a baby monitor, you can call up that video feed. You can ask it to play anything on YouTube. And of course, video calling is supported as well. This call was completed to a Pixel 2 running Google Duo, but the company says it doesn't intend to confine it to that platform. Skype or Facebook are the obvious possibilities that jump to mind, but because this is running Android Things, it won't be something you can just install like on your Android phone. You'll have to wait for Google to cut some deals. Making those video calls possible is a 720p camera built into the Smart Display's bezel, and it includes what might be my favorite feature. Flick a switch, and a physical cover moves into place over the camera lens. Now, I tend to believe the privacy concerns raised by the Google Home Mini's release were indeed caused by a malfunction, but little measures like this privacy shutter and the microphone mute button, they might make all the difference for those who might be wary of inviting Google's eyes and ears into their home. Still, for a while now, I've wondered about the practicality of home assistance. If I carry my phone everywhere anyway, why do I need to buy another gadget just to do all the things it can do? But I kind of get the smart display. It's easier to see from across the room than your phone would be, especially since phones don't really come with kickstands anymore. Its microphones are purpose-built for picking up your voice in a certain environment. And if you're going to have a hub for your smart home anyway, it makes sense for it to have a screen. Oh, by the way, it works as a cast target too, so you can send media from your phone to the bigger screen. The whole thing seems useful enough that I asked Lenovo why it didn't build in a battery so you could carry the smart display from room to room. The company said it considered but ultimately rejected the idea to keep costs down. Those costs? $199 for the baby and $249 for the biggie. That's a lot of dough compared to the bargain basement price of the Google Home Mini, but it's not much more than the 129 tag on the full-size Google Home. Also, those prices perfectly bracket the current retail price of the Amazon Echo Show, which I'm sure is just a coincidence. The Lenovo Smart Display with Google Assistant is expected in July. Mr. Mobile CES 2018 coverage is brought to you by Thrifter, a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to home goods by shopping based on value and not hype. Check out the latest deals at thrifter.com and tell them Mr. Mobile sent you. Folks, I'm kicking off the new year with new coverage like this. Drop a thumbs up if you like me dipping my toe into home tech, and subscribe if you want to see a full review. Until next time, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more from Vegas, and stay mobile, my friends.